My name is Michael Dungan, and I am president of Nick's Tool Holster in the United States of America. I would like to begin by showing you our product in full force. As you can see, our product is very different from any sort of tool holster or tool belt on the market. What differentiates us is we only manufacture tool holsters. We do not provide any of the belts. All of our tool holster gear and accessories are able to equip into any sort of tool belt that you are currently using on the market. Another feature that stands out about the NYX tool holsters is they are completely flexible and float freely off the tool belt that you build this in according to. To give you a brief background on how our company began, we began in 1998 in Osaka, Japan by our current president and owner named Toshi. Toshi was a former contractor who was dissatisfied with the tool holster industry and the tool belt industry. One day when he was home off of work, he manufactured his own tool belt line and tool holster line. When he wore it on the job site, it was met with a ton of demand, people asking where they could get their hands on this product. Thus, Nix was born. Now, Toshi was not satisfied with the direction that the contracting industry was going in Japan. There was not enough pride, there was not enough confidence, and there was not enough commitment within the trade. So when he set out to begin Nix, his main three goals were to instill confidence, pride, and commitment into the trades. And these are our three pillars to this day. Now to go into the features about our products, our products are made of Cordura ballistic material. What this offers is high tensile strength, tear resistance, water repellent, and is the most lightweight product and material you can use on the market. This can take an absolute beating on the job site and it is very easy and comfortable to work with. What also stands out about our product is the custom coloring when it comes to the belt loops and the chain attachments. We feel that there is not enough individuality on the job site when it comes to contracting. People cannot voice their own opinions and through Nix, you can customize your existing tool belt any way you see fit. We offer a variety of different colors that our customers can order and they can assemble this and build this out anyway. We know an electrician, a plumber, or a framer works very different. So that's why we encourage you to organize your tool holsters the way you see fit. We thank you for taking the time to look at this product. Please contact us with any questions and feel free to post about this on Instagram. We look forward to the 2023 launch. Thank you. First, we'll start off by showing you how to assemble your tool belt in the field. So you can start with your titanium or aluminum colored belt connector. First thing we do to tie this into any existing belt is first locate where we would like to select this. So we're going to place this right here. Now, typically what you want to do is slide it down a little bit more and then you just put the belt loop through this second slot and opening. Tighten it down and then we just go back out through the next opening in the belt connector. We do the same process on the other side. And then we have successfully integrated our titanium or aluminum connection. Next, what we need to grab is our fasteners to support the belt that's, that floats freely and loosely. So first thing we'll wanna grab is one of these connectors and one of these screws. So start off by inserting the screw Grab another one of your fasteners, insert it right there, and then we just wanna grab this final fastener. Grab your color connected nut and just hand tighten this down. You can use hand tools. We don't wanna to tighten this too much. We do not recommend using any sort of power tools, but you can tighten this by hand. It just might not tighten down as well without using a proper hand tool. Next, we'll grab the next screw and you'll want a few of the pipes and the fasteners. So you can either choose to put the fastener on the inside or outside. I typically like to do inside on the next row. Insert your pipe. 
grab the next fastener, insert this, grab your pipe, slide it over the screw, grab your next fastener, place it down, and then just connect this other fastener. Then you can grab the nut and tighten this down. If we were doing an extended length, you can also place an additional fastener on this segment right here on the left or right hand side. It does not matter. It's a matter of preference. But just for demonstration purposes, we're just going to do it this way. Next, you'll want to grab your tool holster. Just grab the screw, insert it through the fastener side, place it through the pipe connections, and then just assemble the nut. As you can see, we do have room in the center to place this other fastener there, but just for time's sake, we thought we'd keep it simple and put it in there, put, assemble it this way. Now you can throw any sort of hand tools inside of this, whatever fits well. We have three separate pockets inside of this. 